All right, so this is Miguel Murphy. It's Monday morning, fresh off of a beautiful weekend. And these gentlemen surprised me here. Uh, they currently reside in Orlando. Yes, sir. Yes, and, sir. you know, you guys are back in Miami? Yes, back for the weekend, but we are heading back to school. Okay. Uh, so before we get into, you know, the back into school thing, introduce yourselves. Uh, my name is Hendrickson Soliver. Uh, I'm a current student at UCF. Uh, Miami Dade alumni, uh, and this fellow gentleman right here, Miguel, is actually one of my counselors who actually helped me to graduate from Miami Dade. Yeah, and I'm Terry. Um, I currently go to Seminole State. I'm also an alumni from Miami Dade, and Miguel was one of my reasons why I graduated from Miami Dade, actually. So, shout out to him. Yeah, oh, yeah thank yeah. you, guys. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, these gentlemen were part of a couple groups mm -hmm. on campus. And usually we don't like, you know, to let your success go on notice and the support that you had here. Uh, what, what are some of the groups that you were involved in? Terry, you can uh, I go was, ahead and then Hendrickson. I was in Minorities of the Future, which is a male minority group to help better in the success of minority males. And also I was in Tropical Beat which was more of a club to just express my Caribbean heritage and share other people's Caribbean heritage. Okay. All right, and um, one more group that we're also involved in was also called TRIO, um, more yeah, related to the trio. academic side of, of clubs, pretty much helping you with your homework, um, pretty much having people on your back to make sure that you get what you got to get done, pretty much. So, um, And I was also in the same groups that he was in, too. So yes, also that. in TRIO. <laughs> nice. So Trio, Trio is a very, very good support system. So I got to ask, um, what inspired your hat this morning? Because you inspired my hat <laughs> Okay. Uh, this morning. What inspired my hat? Uh, I'm, I'm an individual that likes to express different styles. Uh, usually my, my bucket hat is one of the things that makes me feel very uh, Miami-ish, or we can say Haitian, uh, for the most part. So uh, uh, I just decided uh, to rock my hat today, and then Miguel I gave him some inspiration as well. So he got that. Yeah, because I've been waiting to to wear this, <laughs> and I, I, I couldn't quite find like the right moment. Right, right. But right. This <laughs> week of October first, brand new month. I just want to say, actually, October first is when you should reapply for FAFSA. Yes. And um, I, I know you guys are no longer here, but you're still yes. in the FAFSA game. Yes. So today, please October make some time. First, right. And I you did know. see you share that on Facebook, so okay. you put me on game, actually. So yeah, this morning I was reflecting by the lake. You know, I have this little lakeside series. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> so I should get a degree in uh, lake studies. You okay, okay. You know, cause I've seen you with the iguanas. The iguanas, you know. And we've made quite a bit of advancement with these iguanas to the point where... Um, touch them now? Not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. Um, good, good, good. Yeah. <laughs> we can keep it like that. <laughs> yeah, actually, we have signs now posted all around the lake that says, do not feed the iguanas, because we got a little bit comfortable with yeah, true. the idea yeah, of uh, food? petting them. No, they're, they're actually they're good animals. comfortable. Too friendly. Too friendly. Uh, I was having lunch the other day, they're and... Too friendly, right? <laughs> You know, we were suddenly we were having lunch. lunch yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, there's a sign that says don't feed the iguanas, yeah. but the iguanas are actually coming to get fed. Mm. So I just want to uh, put that out there to, you know, right. you know, say that it's not just the people feeding them. They're, they're asking to be too, fed, right, right. and it's either, you know, how do you, you know, we'll have to address that. <laughs> So, so what advice do you guys have for students? Um, best advice for students is to get involved. Um, college can sometimes seem overwhelming, mm -hmm. but there is a lot of help that is around you, but you do have to search for this help. That will pretty much be involved with uh, clubs, counselors, so you do have to search for this help. Nice. But sign up for clubs. So what about you, Terry? Uh, time management and also getting involved and asking for help. Don't be too afraid or think you're a know-it-all, it's okay to ask for help, and they're willing to help you. Yeah. Um, so basically, just ask for help and keep a humble keep a humble heart. And <laughs> humble heart. Yeah, you'll, like you'll, that. you'll make it through. Yeah. That's yeah, all yeah. It is. So what are your majors? Because over here you did uh, business, from oh. what I recall. 
No, Hendrickson was doing business. Mm -hmm. I was doing information technology. And I'm still currently doing information technology. Right, right. right now, I'm learning Java. Okay. And programming and coding. Mm -hmm. So, it's fun. It's fun of seeing what I can do with a computer from a blank screen to basically anything I want. <laughs> 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 it's, 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 it's crazy, but it, I, I've seen it done. So, I'm, I like taking the endeavor, taking the initiative to maybe create something new. And maybe something that will help us or help the future. Yeah. I don't know. Society. Yeah, we'll, we'll just have to find out. But I'm, I'm looking forward to the future. All right. And uh, mine was marketing. So hopefully uh, one day you'll see my business out there on television. So come buy some glasses. There you go. <laughs> come, <laughs> my glasses are. Come, get, come indulge in that unique, you know, um, you know this is, you know, uh, uh, bucket hat. There you go. Because... <laughs> <laughs> There you go. I'm telling you, man. I had to inspire him a little yeah, bit. Walk it like I talk it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, representing from Miami Heat, representing from Miami, we just celebrated 58 years. 58 years? Yeah. 1960. 1960. And in two years, I'm actually looking forward to, to that. We'll be 60 years. 60 years? In, in 2020. Wow. Yeah. And I've had the privilege of actually seeing like the 40th anniversary because i graduated on the 40th anniversary okay, okay, okay. um in the old arena <laughs> the miami heat the old yeah, one not the triple a not the triple a okay and the 50th anniversary of course i was there because yeah. i'm still here winning and <laughs> i was featured on the um the signs out there. Right. When you come in, the welcome signs. Okay, okay, okay. okay. And also in one of the uh, continuing education um, booklets, marketing, uh, non-credit courses. And then, uh, God willing, I'll be here, you know. 60, right? Throwing up the 60 with uh, everybody else. Make sure yeah, we're going to slide through, celebrate with you too, oh, man. Definitely. Yeah, so what do you think about D-Wade being back and this being his sweet 16? Um, with this being his sweet 16, uh, for sure, I will be going to a couple of Heat games. Um, I have to see him play one last time. Uh -huh. um, this guy's brought a lot of uh, happiness to the city more than you guys realize. Yes, and, and that's why I got to see him play one last time, man. <laughs> that's my guy. <laughs> Sweet. So we're just starting off the week. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of the week. Safe journey back to Orlando. Yes. Uh, you know, you live that. Four. Don't forget. October oh, look 1st. at you. Yes, it's, it's a real deal. T man. Today is it. Yes. Like, we love free money. Free money. You know? Yeah. You don't think of it like that. It's but not free. You got to get A's. helpful money. Yes. yes. You got to get A's. You got to maintain yes. that GPA to keep it because yes. you, you can apply what you will apply as of today. But they're not giving money to no dummies. <laughs> <laughs> they're not giving money to no dummies. Well, I, I wouldn't endorse the dummy part of it, but, um, you know, because you, you never know. Someone might have a, a real challenge. Right, but um, that's not saying they're dummies. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? You know okay. what I'm saying? Dummy sounds like, is that a variable? In, uh, um, it's an adjective, actually, it's describing... Um, uh, your state. I want to say not your state, but like you're in a dumb state. Dumb is meant as it was never meant to be like actually as it's dumb. Like a, right. Dumb was actually meant to call a person who was slow, like slow. Mm -hmm. They called it dumb, but then people started seeing it as an insult, and then they take it. Like you're dumb, you're stupid. Mm -hmm. But it was never meant like that. That's what they used to call. Slow. Right. Gotcha. So no one's dumb. No one's, yeah, no dumb, one's right. dumb. No one's slow. It's all the effort you put in. Right. Absolutely. There you go. So, so financial aid won't merit lack of effort. Right. Yes. yes. Yeah. Lack of effort, you're not going to get no money. There you go. So put a lot of effort, you're most likely going to get some money. Awesome. That's how it is. So this, like I usually say, can go on and on, but I'm going to end here. It's been wonderful seeing you guys. You know, these days I got to, you know, let the family know that. You guys were here. Yeah, I man. understand. All right. Yes, and, yes. Uh, definitely you, do. you two can get inspired by our Monday morning conversation. See you less, see you less. All right, so this is Miguel Murphy, a beautiful Monday morning with Hendrickson and, and Terry. Terry. And have a beautiful one. Much love, much love. Take Bye care. Monday.